My name is Joe Rice, and I'm the Vice President of Marketing for American Science and Engineering. We're located in Billerica, Massachusetts. ASNE manufactures X-ray detection systems for force protection, homeland security, and customs applications. Our customers include the U.S. Department of Defense, U.S. Customs, law enforcement agencies, as well as a variety of international agencies involved in customs and security missions. So ASNE is a pioneer in X-ray imaging technology. And some of what we developed is embodied here in this baggage scanning system that we call Gemini. Gemini is actually two X-ray systems in one machine. It utilizes conventional transmission X-ray imaging, just like you'd see at any airport. But we also utilize a technology we developed that we call backscatter imaging. And backscatter imaging creates a picture off of scattered X-rays, unlike conventional imaging, which is generated based on X-rays that go through an object. The reason this is useful is because that you can conceal objects from a transmission X-ray image by normal items that you might carry in a bag. For example, in this bag that we have here, this bag has a laptop power supply, a cell phone, and a radio in it. But what you can't see are three threat items that we've concealed in that bag, including a composite handgun, a plastic explosive behind the cell phone, as well as a liquid explosive simulant concealed behind the laptop power supply. So any detection technology has strengths and weaknesses to it. What we've done in this machine is combine two X-ray imaging technologies that each have advantages to them and really complement one another. For customers for this type of product, they're typically any uh, agency that places a real premium on having superior detection, especially for non-metallic threats like the ones I've highlighted here with the composite handgun and the explosive. So we tend to sell to what we call high threat agencies, people who are involved in VIP security, um, and institutions like that. We can't get into a lot of specific names for obvious reasons, but those are the profiles of people who tend to buy this machine. So what you see here is our newest implementation of our uh, backscatter imaging technology. It's a system we call AXIS, and it's developed under a program, or actually under a couple of programs, that are sponsored by TISWIG as well as DHS S&T. And uh, this incarnation uh, we've developed for uh, the application originally actually of scanning general aviation. So DHS was interested in technologies that could be used to scan aircraft to find a variety of smuggled items, whether it's uh, explosives or narcotics, money, uh, weapons, or what have you. And scanning general aviation aircraft is uh, something of a vulnerability today. So this is a small system that can be deployed on this uh, mechanized cart that you see here and can scan a variety of different types of items. Another application that we learned about from U.S. Customs for this system would be for scanning uh, odd types of items coming across the southwest border. So one of the problems they told us about was that uh, bicycles could be used as a way to smuggle narcotics. And so the image that you see here on the screen is actually just a common bicycle, and the frame has been loaded with, uh, with pills. And we did this as a test. But you can imagine if you have uh, methamphetamine or, or some other type of narcotic, anything that's concealed in that bike frame will show up in that bright white area, and that's an indication that you've got a substance in that bicycle that's being smuggled. So you can use this for screening all sorts of objects um, that you might want to find, again, anything in, explosives, narcotics, what have you. Another interested party in this are uh, bomb squads and state police as well as explosive ordnance disposal teams because you can use the system uh, remotely and you can scan vehicles in it. So imagine you had a vehicle with a car bomb. You'd be able to scan it, and if you have a, uh, a big area that's showing up as bright white, it's a possible indicator that it might have explosive material in that vehicle. And then that bomb squad or the EOD team can take the next step, take measures to further identify whether it truly is a threat and render that uh, object safe or not. So this is a, a, a smaller, more compact version of the uh, backscatter screening technology that we've deployed in other configurations in the past. The system that you see here is what we call our Z backscatter van. The Z backscatter van is the most successful, largest selling system ever on the market that's used for scanning trucks or cargo containers or passenger vehicles. And this is the whole unit here, uh, so it's very easy to deploy and utilize. What we've done is we've applied a graphic to the side uh, for this venue that we're here at today, and it shows you some of the real live seizures 
uh, that you can get using this sort of technology. So for example here, this is a real seizure in a force protection application where this truck was entering um, a military installation and they were attempting to conceal explosives right inside of that gas tank. It's a huge potential problem and it's a very hard area to scan. You can scan it incredibly well with this technology. This is another seizure, actual seizure here from a border crossing imp implementation. And this is a common scenario as well. These are packages of narcotics concealed in the panel of this, of this vehicle here. Um, this is another seizure at a border application, bottles of alcohol, very easy to recognize. So this technology is very cost effective, extremely easy to use and deploy. The images are exceptionally easy to analyze and interpret. And it's a powerful tool for military, for law enforcement, for um, anybody who's involved with protecting uh, high threat assets or critical assets who want to find explosives, narcotics, stowaways, and so forth. Very, very powerful tool and the most widely used in the world. So ASNE, we manufacture a range of detection solutions for a variety of applications from baggage scanning to people scanning to scanning containers and vehicles. And we utilize a combination of X-ray technologies that are best suited for that mission, regardless of what it is. And so we have a range of systems that can really serve a variety of the customer's applications.